Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, Ajay Mahapatra. So today I'm going to talk about a very important book. And the book's name is Atomic Habits. It is undoubtedly a life-changing book. And the author of the book is Mr. James Clear. As I mentioned, undoubtedly it is one of the life-changing books. And in this book, just like his name, Mr. James Clear has given a clear explanation of what it takes to create new habits and sustain it. So, so James Clear um, has done extensive research on this topic of habits and more so on the human behavior and psychology uh, about why people fail to sustain having their good habits and he still does a lot of work on this topic and he has uh, extensively traveled all around the world uh, talking about uh, uh, his book and uh, talking more on this uh, topic of uh, habits and uh, uh, definitely he does talk about the value adds if uh, the important pointers of uh, this book can be implemented by uh, people all around the world. So it, it's not uh, uh, a secret anymore that, you know, uh, everyone knows about uh, the get good habits, what are the good habits and uh, what benefit would get if we continue with the good habits. But uh, somehow uh, we get attracted to the negative habits or uh, the bad habits, so to say and uh, sooner or later uh, dump the good habits so this particular book talks about the psychology behind it and the steps required to have a good process and system in place so that we can create new uh, good habits as well as maintain it and i, I got to learn about this uh, uh, book about two years back while i was attending one uh, book seminar or book review session at the BDP Books Club and one of the uh, book reviewers had come down there to talk about this book and he uh, you know, talked brilliantly about the you know, key features or salient points about this book and with a lot of examples uh, from that time onwards I got hooked to this book and immediately bought the book to go through it let me let me share a few of the you know uh, key takeaways uh, from this book which i'm sure uh, once you buy this book and go through this book you will definitely appreciate and uh, uh, definitely intend to uh, implement those uh, positive aspects of uh, having good habits and uh, i'm sure it will change your lives uh, provided uh, we follow them uh, on a daily basis and some of the key features one being habits are like trees so breaking a bad habit is like uprooting a uh, large you know tree and creating a good habit is like cultivating a small tiny sapling so creating good habits needs patience care and uh, uh, the realistic expectations so you are if you are obsessed with the goal and you won't pay attention to doing little things properly uh, to achieve those goals, then that would create a problem. So on the other hand, if you do the little things properly and if you build the system properly and follow them, and those would be the essential items to achieve uh, your goals. Second is The second pointer is uh, habits are all about identity. So how do you associate yourself uh, with a certain uh, group so basically you are identifying with certain section of people so a marathon runner shows up every day uh, on the you know on, on the uh, marathon uh, uh, because because he wants to identify himself or herself as a runner and similarly the songwriters as well write songs on a daily basis 
they write the lyrics the songs so that uh, they want to you know they view themselves as uh, musicians so people join this you know book clubs or the rotary clubs you know so that they can be uh, identify themselves as book lovers or the social uh, activist uh, per se respectively so it is it, it is your identity that allows you to uh, confront the inevitable challenges that you face uh, on a day-to-day -day basis so the question is what type of person uh, do you want to embody yourself so for example if you want to quit uh, smoking right if you want to quit smoking uh, uh, instead of telling that you know i wish to quit smoking you should say that uh, i'm not a smoker so you're identifying to the group of people who doesn't smoke so that way if you kind of categorize the uh, negative aspects and bring on the positive and put a identification around it that way it would be easy for you to get rid of uh, the bad habits the second is habit uh, stacking so he has beautifully talked about the concept of habit uh, stacking so habit stacking is nothing but uh, arranging sequentially all the um, good habits that you have or develop new habits and arranging them in a sequence so it could be a stack of habits for your morning time for your work time or daytime work or in the evening time habit stacking so for example so you wake up wake up in the morning you do some meditation you take shower you get ready for your work and then you also before that you have a cup of tea or coffee so this is your habit stacking before you move on to your office or your uh, morning time so similarly you arrange the uh, positive aspects or positive habits and uh, create a stack and if you feel that yes during my daytime first if i want to look into the important emails at office uh, prioritize them and then get them done and then uh, if you want to take you know breaks in between important breaks in between so this could be the important habits that you would like to stack it and put it in the chain of events or or your habit train so to say and uh, nowadays there are a lot of uh, habit tracking applications so it's so basically basically uh, by taking uh, the help of a tool or any any uh, journal per, per se if you write down every on a daily basis whatever habits that you have uh, jotted down whether you are following those habits uh, on a daily basis or not so that's that's uh, another important tool kind of to track it down so that will help you that uh, are we on track or are we missing out uh, giving some lame excuses so the habit tracker would definitely help so missing out on one day on one of the habits is okay but if you miss out uh, you know, uh, consecutively for two days uh, you definitely see a challenge or definitely see a problem with that because uh, you then get it uh, get into that you know uh, negative space or space of uh, um, what uh, leniency where you think that okay uh, next day i'll do it so then again that uh, you get into the trouble so make sure that uh, you follow the habit stack whatever you have formed for yourself and follow it on a daily basis and track it down and then the next third important point is the environment uh, shapes your success or life so in this book uh, he has taken one example of uh, one uh, hungarian psychologist uh, laszlo polgar and uh, so that uh, polgar was a man who believed that he could uh, use an ideal home environment to um, raise his children and uh, so so he thought that you know uh, my you know i would definitely raise my children in a way that they would be world-class chess players so what he did is that he changed the environment of his house he created an environment wherein there were everywhere there were like uh, chess uh, books related to chess there were uh, the uh, world champion photographs of you know uh, chess players uh, all around his house books all around house there were chess boards 
lying all over the place. And you believe it or not, all his three daughters turned out to be world champions at the, you know, when they reached, uh, one of them was uh, world champion at 15 and the other two became world champion at 20 or 21. So setting up the environment, uh, idle and envi home environment definitely helps. For example, if you keep a habit of reading books before uh, going to you know, bed, then the environment setup should be such that you keep your books near to your bed or near to your pillow where you sleep so that whenever you go to sleep you look at those books and think of oh this is my habit of at least reading one page or two pages before going to bed so this is how you set up or you you uh, arrange your uh, materials or uh, uh, the things that you require as part of your habit to kept in such a place uh, at your house that that enhance your uh, positive habits and sometimes what happens the other challenges that i have seen uh, you understand to improve your reading habits uh, you know that you have to read the books uh, loudly uh, and then you thought that from tomorrow onwards i'll start this habit and i'll read at least two pages daily at a certain time then when you actually start to implement uh, uh, this habit then you think of oh what my family or friends would think of me have i gone crazy why is it uh, suddenly why is it started uh, reading out the books loudly then you kind of uh, you know find some excuse to get out of that habit so instead understand that shape your house and shape your future and last but not the least one uh, another important takeaway is your friends shape your success so actually we are the mirrors of our closest companions and and uh, there was a beautiful quote that i heard uh, during my school time and my headmaster used to uh, tell us that uh, tell me who is your friend and i will tell you what you are that effectively means your friend circle uh, completely uh, tells you like what kind of person you are so if your friend circle is good if they value reading if they value uh, the good things in life then definitely you will also fall into that place and if your friend circle is into negative things then sooner or later you will also drag to those uh, negative things so uh, if, if you think uh, you want to be a runner and uh, in your friend circle nobody values uh, uh, the running the the good habit of running then obviously you can't be a runner because you will get uh, negations or uh, negative vibes on a daily basis from your friends so think about this aspect have such friends or have that uh, close need of uh, uh, friends who understand or value your habits i think uh, uh, this makes a good uh, enough for takeaway uh, to start with and i suggest you definitely go through go through this book and uh, gain the maximum so if any one of you have already gone through this book and i suggest please uh, comment uh, and share your comments or feedbacks or any uh, improvement points for uh, our, our readers our, our uh, subscribers and uh, let's have a healthy discussion flowing and one more request please subscribe to my channel and share your uh, um, share this um, video with your friends and family uh, thank you so much ciao and sayonara Hari Om. thank you